What's up everybody, I'm Sydney Goodman and in today's Daily Fix, an end to scalping, cyberpunk's refund woes, and Tom Cruise has another impassioned speech, this time about COVID. Roll a thing! I hate scalping, you hate scalping, probably, and so do some UK politicians who are calling to ban console scalping and the use of bots. Reported by VGC, members of the UK Parliament have filed a motion to discuss prohibiting, quote, the resale of gaming consoles and computer components at prices greatly above manufacturers' recommended retail price, and ban the use of bots to purchase said goods. Six members of the Scottish National Party tabled the motion, which at the time of recording this video has amassed 23 signatures from MPs across several parties. The motion specifically mentions a 2018 UK law passed to prevent rip-off prices on resales of tickets for live events. That law forces secondary sellers of other live event tickets to be transparent about the original price of the tickets and other details about the purchase as well as forces the reseller to prove they own the item in question to prevent fraud. Some snippets from the motion include, quote, This house believes that new releases of gaming consoles and computer components should be available to all customers at no more than the manufacturer's recommended retail price, and not be bought in bulk by the use of automated bots. Another section says, quote, Calls on the government to bring forward legislative proposals similar to those introduced for the secondary selling of tickets. And finally, quote, calls on the government to bring forward legislative proposals making the resale of goods purchased using an automated bot an illegal activity. It's great to see someone actually doing something about this. And to leave you with a fun fact, scalping has two definitions. One is literally taking someone's scalp off their person to keep as a trophy, and the other is reselling goods at inflated prices. Coincidence? I mean, it might be, but... Earlier this week, the official Cyberpunk 2077 Twitter account posted a message for fans apologizing for the performance issues players are experiencing on base PS4 and Xbox One consoles. In addition to promises that more patches are coming that will improve performance of Cyberpunk on consoles, the statement ends with a pledge that anyone who purchased a digital copy of Cyberpunk 2077 can refund the game if they want for a limited time through PSN, Xbox, or local retailers. Unfortunately, despite the statement, there doesn't appear to be any special arrangement for Cyberpunk refunds with PSN or Xbox, which means customers are actually dealing with these standard refund policies. During an emergency board meeting, CD Projekt Red SVP of Business Development, Mikhail Nowakowski, clarified that refunds for the game are dependent on existing refund policies. Granted, CDPR did include an email address and said, quote, we will do our best to help you. That address is helpmerefund at cdprojectred.com in case you need that. And a lot of folks around the internet have reported issues with trying to get their refund. PlayStation's refund policy is that customers have 14 days from purchase to request a refund, given that they have not started downloading or streaming the purchased game. And in line with what folks have posted on Twitter, IGN's Mark Medina attempted to refund their copy of Cyberpunk on PS4, but was told by a representative, quote, according to our records, the content has been downloaded slash streamed. I'm sorry, due to the restrictions outlined in the PlayStation Store cancellation policy, a refund cannot be made for this transaction. Players on Xbox have had an easier experience given Microsoft's more relaxed refund policy, which claims refunds can be given when there are, quote, extenuating circumstances, which this whole Cyberpunk 2077 situation could fall under. And Steam offers refunds within 14 days if you've played less than two hours of a game. Man, what a mess. A recording has emerged of Tom Cruise berating crew members on the set of Mission Impossible 7 for allegedly breaking coronavirus safety protocols. The Sun published the audio clip of the actor's furious rant, which was reportedly triggered by two of the crew members standing, quote, less than a meter away from each other at a computer screen while on set. Cruise said, You can tell it to the people that are losing their because our industry is shut down. It's not going to put food on their table or pay for their college education. That's what I sleep with every night. And he concluded his impassioned speech with, quote, do you understand the responsibility that I have because I will deal with your reason, and if you can't be reasonable and I can't deal with your logic, you're fired. On one hand, I can get behind the passion over safety regarding COVID, especially, as Cruz talks about in his speech, the consequences of breaching the safety guidelines on set could jeopardize more than just Mission Impossible's production. 
but could also influence Hollywood in general, aka lots of people's jobs continuing to operate. On the other hand, there's a way to talk to people, and that ain't it. But who knows the rest of the context? I quite obviously was not there. And as a daily fix, I'm Sydney Goodman, and I hope your day is as awesome as you are. Now that you're all caught up on the news, if you haven't seen the base console cyberpunk gameplay for yourself, we posted some gameplay, so check it out and download the IGN app on all your mobile devices. Subscribe to the Daily Fix on Snapchat and for all things everything else, IGN.com.